Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Saving Your Disaster campaign. It's the already lost campaign where we have literally taken a lost save game and turned it into something beautiful. It is the ninth episode which means we're going to come to a rapid conclusion or soon to a conclusion. I'm trying to resolve all of uh, the challenges in 10 or less episodes. So this and potentially the next episode will therefore be the last ones today. It's Operation Death Valley and overall I think the uh, um, save game is in a really decent spot. I will try to conquer as much territory for him as possible. Therefore the threat therefore the threat of the Avatar project will lessen. We're almost done with another reduce the avatar project mission that means we would then be at half project and we're soon going to continue the golden path which yet again will help us putting warden in here let's uh, use our spark we're definitely going to take slider in here Uh, deep six. A Kalian pose sounds like a great idea. Crash is almost leveled up, so let's take Crash instead. A Kalian pose is fantastic by himself, so having kind of a second major might be more helpful. And finally, a sharpshooter Hawkeye. All right. So this looks about good. We're still having all of the weapons, so we can directly jump into the mission. Potentially the Spark could use another weapon upgrade. I should double check that. Let's check it real quick. So superior scope is fantastic, advanced expanded magazine is good as well. Yeah, I was thinking uh, the Spark might have a third weapon slot, but apparently the modular breakthrough for heavy weapons really only counts for heavy weapons and not for the Spark weapons. That's unfortunate. Fantastic. Started in the sewers. And we got access to the network over here. Nine rounds. That is going to be a fast action paced mission. And we are on one of my absolute favorite maps. The sewers map. Time for rapid expansion. Moving. Good. We know no one is there. Good to go. Which means we can charge in. A good decision. Warden moves. On it. Slider moves up here, and Scimitar can move all the way to here. Apparently that took a while uh, for the computer to animate. Eyes on the prize. Good, nine rounds and there are a couple of chrysalids. Interesting, interesting. Gotta hate those little buggers. And by hating, I mean really intensely hate them. Double move. I see the path. Double move. There is a crystal over here, so gotta be careful. Move, move, move. Moving over there. Scimitar moves. Roger that. Let's 
And we're taking high ground. Okay, cool. So far, so good. Nothing t uh, spectacular, nothing out of the ordinary. I think we got scanning protocol, so we should be fine. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Kill zone would be good with those two. Tracking enemy patrol. Okay, of course. Everybody joins the party. We've got an enemy squad here. I am sort of hoping that this is going to reveal... ...all of the Borer Chrysalids. And it also reveals yet another uh, pair of enemies. Okay, fantastic. And when I mean, uh, when I say fantastic, I actually mean it's not so good. Not so good as an understatement. They got us nicely pincered here. Now this would trigger. Currently these guys are out of line of sight. And I hope that that stays the way. We got... Concealment here in shadow, so they are not going to add. Those guys, however, are. There's another pretty nasty patrol over there. And I guess we could start from down here or just waiting one more round for all of them to move up. I think that's not a bad idea. Moving to here. Overwatch, 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 definitely Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch, although it doesn't really matter. Potentially this pack will move into us as well. Yeah, but those guys are at least gone for now. Fucking chrysalids. All right, much better starting position. Really, it is a miracle that no one has triggered. All right, this here is the right start. Second charges in. And a lot of Blade Storm should trigger. That's one. That is two. That is number three. Good old blade storm pull. Plus the guys have tactical analysis running on them, so they only have one action. 
Got another pack behind us, and we know that there's a pack over there. That did not work out as intended. Whatever you say. Moving up. It's time for teamwork and run and gun at the same time. Moving over here. Get ready for a surprise. And this here is setting them up properly. Send hit. Nice. That was an automatic kill. Going too close, we would risk uh, pulling the chrysalid. And honestly speaking, I don't want to do that. Proceeding to target. Barely didn't trigger this guy. Sure, if we've triggered the chrysalids. Yeah, I didn't get it. All right, so that guy is down. Taking the high ground. Could go in with Comet Protocol. I'm going in deeper. The Chrysalid will definitely get us. Fifty-fifty to kill him. Move up here, that's 100% to kill. But we're not immune to fire. All 
right. Eight protocol it is. We could go to here. That'll be a nasty position for them. And we're risking to get uh, the explosion damage, but it is what it is. Alright, no explosion damage, that was good. Spirit Perception, that's fantastic. And there we go, we got some more company. Fantastic. Not sure why exactly the chrysalid is active. It should not be. Definitely should not be active. Good. Let's try to get that other chrysalis here. And it just so happened to be behind. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is disappointing. Good. Time to take care of... Uh, of the big one, but of course we're failing. That is not good. Moving over. Deal with the chrysalid as well. Hard target, minimal damage. That's a one shot kill. How many is that now? Death from above into what I was hoping would be a mech kill. do have death from above, right? Yes, we do. Alright, so then that is super simple. Target disabled. Kill confirmed. That one was burning, so it was a 100% chance to kill. Moving back. Screw that chrysalid. And we're reloading overwatching. There's still one more pack down there. Not a kill. We're eventually going to get hit. What? It just moved by without attacking us? I don't get that. A righteous strike. Potentially because he couldn't see us and needed to double move. That would be a logical explanation. 
maybe they just wanted to stir up some trouble. I don't know. Orders confirmed on the move. Moving up. Massive pack of enemies. Okay, time for us to go in and shred them like they've never been shredded before. Fantastic. We could use a frost bomb to eliminate one of them. Slightly moving over. No problem, boss. Let's try to get this guy. Okay, fantastic. Thanks to blue screen rounds that worked like a charm. Implaceable to get a bit closer. We can use a Mimic Beacon. We also got the Frost Bomb. Still available for us. Let's go with the Mimic Beacon. And we're overwatching. Overwatch with the sniper would have had the same chance as shooting into full cover. Alright. Good enough. Move it up. The timer is getting shorter and shorter. We should do something about that armor. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get it done. Looks like one of them came back for more. Okay. Let's conceal ourselves. This hopefully will not trigger reaction. Because we were concealed when we were moving. Yeah, no, that's not how it works, I can. Stunned and quite a bit of damage. Okay, cool. Yep, mm hmm. Well, it was not bad. I think it is fair to say that it is time for some frost bomb. Good, this will buy us some more time. Time to deal as much damage as we can to the 
queen. I nice still critical hit. Continuing with being frostbitten. Definitely got a parry. Rock and roll. Reload is free, so shouldn't trigger. Yep, very good. to take some damage on this round as she has brought quite a few mutants with her that some is going to miss lightning reflexes and we're looking at shadowbound Nice little position. Luckily we got technical analysis. Alright, that was a miss. We still got a parry. That should have parried, not reflected. I am a bit concerned. It should have parried, not reflected. I mean, somehow the parry has gotten lost. Alright, well, this is a kill against the Bursa Queen. There is the reaction and the good old blade storm. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I'd love to ask Val and what exactly she planned on doing with this thing. I would be curious to hear her reasoning, although I would question whether reason was ever involved in this decision. All right, revival. here run and gun for reload and oh, let's get this guy down would have saved the stabilized but just in case we would have had a backup plan there is the promotion we were waiting for so that's untouchable up into full cover hard movement engaged go 
more aggressive movement. And we could come to protocol in order to get rid of this guy, leaving two potential shots back to us, which I think is okay. I also need to move in next turn in order to hack. In order to make sure that that really happens, let's move to here. Let's move High ground unfortunately doesn't work anymore, so we gotta go down here. Should have waited with a mimic beacon. But yeah, the... The um, alien ruler certainly has caught me by surprise. Hostiles targeting my position. Menace one five. The advent network terminal is shutting down. This is your last chance to secure the data. All right, time to move up and hopefully okay. we're going to be able to hack, which we are not, but is unfortunate. We're closing on the objective. All right, 5% chance for an alien facility lead. That would have been great. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent file. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Whatever you say. All right, moving up. Time to get that guy down. Enemy is still up. Let's try again. There we go. Implaceable to here. On the move. And we took some damage on our spark, but that is okay. It happens. So, we got a heavy uh, suit, because uh, the Berserker suit is considered a heavy suit as well and has some nice extra abilities. That is fantastic. Good. Time to land. I know we have at least one promotion. And it is indeed only one promotion. And we're going to get untouchable. Fantastic skill. Lightly wounded. And our mech is a bit heavier wounded, but that is okay. It'll now get that repaired. We one of Dr. Valen's Hello, test subjects. Commander. I can begin an autopsy on the specimen as soon as you give the order, Commander. So in engineering, yeah, we're repairing the staff, uh, the the mech. That is okay. Don't want to take any additional upgrade here. That's a good one, but still, it's more important to have the armor upgrades for now. So that worked like a charm. There is the Illarium that we were looking for. That is super valuable. So we're going to prioritize it over the rest. Might be up to 70, 80 Illarium. Definitely a lot of alloys. So. The game realized that we were low on those resources and essentially gave it a, uh, gave those to us for free. We also got a hefty inspired, chunk our team is actually quite of intel, so we're good. Improved beam weapons, I can't let that slip through because that will 
B plus one damage to all of his beam weapons. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Too good to let it pass. And there we go. That's the reduction. How much more time? One day. We're going to wait that. Because I suspect there is another re uh, reduction of Avatar project mission. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress. That is a strong ability. They all have a healing ability now, and we gotta deal with her soon. Yeah, nothing of that is a problem. Maybe this here. So we should try to counter that. This one here is fantastic. Mental Fortitude is just incredibly strong. Weak points, Mental Fortitude, then tactical, um, uh, tactical measures between the eyes. Pretty, pretty decent uh, combat. So, Reduce Avatar Project is exactly what we want. And there is a facility lead, so that's exactly what he needs. As long as he is not messing it up, that would be good. I mean, he just needs, literally just needs that. So, we're almost done. Mobility plus, plus one. That is fantastic. On a ranger, Edgar Allan Poe is the right uh, one to get that. In 10 days until more avatar project will be gone let's get that stuff done strategic resource located perfect couldn't have asked kind of for a better setup we need just a bit more larium maybe we can buy that for Intel Colonel Grenadier, not what I was expecting when I came here, but definitely what we need, because still enough intel to make contact, and I wanted to give him enough soldiers, so that here is a, is a soldier that he can definitely work with. Aviator is even one of my soldiers it's one of our viewers a new one shredder into demolition into heavy ordnance into chain shot or volatile mix both is fine we're taking volatile mix definitely salvo in this case and saturation fire is fantastic uh, for cover destruction rupture is fantastic for harder enemies I'll give him harder enemies in this case. We still got 30 points left over. Um, what kind of person combats him? I think we're going to give him superior perception because the aim progression of Grenadiers is typically not the best. So... Blame Shen for wanting to keep an eye on Tiger. Superior at this point. Trigger all the help we can get. Advanced expanded magazine, and then I would just wait um, to give him a superior scope. In the absence of that, might as well give an advanced laser sight in there. You can replace it with a superior scope. So fantastic soldier with an absolute banger of a weapon. And we got a placeable, that's a good one. Chain shot isn't bad either. Run and gun is fantastic for a grenadier. 
So let's see. One, two. Uh, can't get. Well, we can get three. Kill zone isn't bad either, to be honest. Blast padding for some some more defense is good as well. I think we're going to go with run gun because it is fantastic. That sort of doesn't require implacable because we have already a movement skill. That and blast padding. Oh, that's good. Specialist will get threat ass assessment finally. Not sure why you did not skill that beforehand. It's just such an incredibly good skill. All right. Like I said, not what I was expecting, but still good. Avenger plotting new course. I think the Illyrium is not enough to upgrade the armor. We got a heap of supplies though. Now the flamethrower, still not the heavy weapons that I was hoping for. Okay, that is good. Hey commander. And can we finally upgrade the armor? Yes, we can. There's only 75 Illyrium. So Warden armor, everybody got the highest armor. And by now I'm pretty sure that we have uh, saved this one here specifically since I'm not. Uh, I'm now going to kill the assassin, kind of as a nice little gimmick and a goodie. Uh, improved beam weapons are on the way. Next mission will just be the assassin kill and then that's it. And uh, we... After the improved beam weapons, it is basically Shadow Chamber to continue the study. Uh, we now have 500 income, uh, which will be plenty. Very soon there will be more alloys and delirium to scan for. Just always invest in weapon upgrades next. With uh, the shotgun and the, kat uh, the katana, we're definitely on the right track and just look at it i mean we started with almost nothing and we got colonel 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 major 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 that's like eight uh top tier uh, soldiers plus another three captains over here so that is 11 that's two entire squads of uh really good soldiers plus a spark on top of it and even down here i've upgraded most of them to sergeant and corp corporal so it's a deep roster one that you can work with which brings us to the end of this mission next one is a bonus one just to uh, uh, give it back in a perfect state or in a near perfect state and in terms of overall avatar project we halved it there is an option to go here to the new arctic in two blips uh, with a radio relay almost done there is another option like this here is kind of a no-brainer enough intel is available so it's a no-brainer to get to that facility which means there is plenty of opportunity to stay in the game i think it's on the safe side and that brings us to the end of uh, today's episode next one is the clash with the assassin and then it is over thank you for watching have a good one and don't forget to like and subscribe plus leave a nice little comment down there thanks guys bye bye